for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Like we just read over there, okay, when it's talking about their belly, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they who that mind earth, who mind earthly things. Yeah, that's right. That's Go ahead. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is the enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So to try to keep a, a carnal commandment. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Not to say that the law wasn't spiritual. Right, 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 right. But the law did have some carnal ordinances. It did, it did. It did. Like the high holy days, mm -hmm. like the the the, the, the uh, temple worship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The washing of vessels yeah. and all yeah. those things. The Lord said He nailed that all up to the on the cross. Mm -hmm. But not only that. He said, not one jot or one tittle of the law, talking about the entire law that was given to Moses. Not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass away from the law till all be fulfilled. And it was all fulfilled in Christ. So after it was all fulfilled in Christ, it was done. What does the word fulfilled mean? It was done. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. He said that hey, out of his own cool. mouth when he was crucified on the cross. <laughs> that it is done. Yeah, you want right. to continue? Excuse me, brother. You want to continue? Let's continue on, man. Go ahead. Well, where was we, brother? Sorry. We in Romans, uh, the eighth chapter. Romans, the eighth chapter. And we are at the. Uh, Read the, read the sixth verse again. The sixth verse, Roman 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is an enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So if you're not called, if you're not an elect, if God didn't call you or open your eyes un unto this, you can't serve the Lord. That's right. You're not subject to the law of God. Mm. You won't see it. You won't understand it. And you can't not be um, uh, subject unto it unless the Lord open your eyes to see it. That's right. And you cannot please God without faith. Mm. It's impossible to please God without faith. If you think that you're justified by the works of the law, you cannot please God. Mm. A verse. So then, they that are so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of God, if, if so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Point blank. Period. Period. Mm. You don't have the spirit of Christ, you ain't none of his. <laughs> So if you're looking to be justified by, by Moses, then go right on ahead. Go on ahead, yeah. Because Moses can't justify nobody. That's right. And to prove that, let's go over to the book of 1 Corinthians. I mean, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. The third chapter. 2 Corinthians, the third chapter. Right, and uh, hold on for a minute. Mm -hmm. Bear with me one second. All right. Let's go to the book of Hebrews. Okay. The third chapter. Hebrews, the third verse. Hebrews, the third That's chapter. The top of Hebrews, the third chapter. Right from the top. Okay. Hebrews, the third chapter. Okay. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. 
who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses. Who, the, who is this man? Christ. Uh-huh. He was accounted worthy of more glory than Moses. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And as much as he who had built it, the house had more honor than the house. Okay, who built the house? Christ Mo built the house. Right, 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 right. Christ created everything. Remember mm -hmm. in Colossians, the yeah. second chapter? Yeah. It, invisible and visible. Mm -hmm. So it says, inasmuch as he who have built the house have more honor than the house, than the house itself. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For every house is builded by some man, but he that built all things is God. Yeah. Paul and Christ God again. Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. Now Moses was faithful in all his house as a servant, but Christ was called a what? A son. Mm -hmm. And those of us that come into the mind of Christ and that are true believers and followers of Christ, we are no longer servants, but are called sons. Just like Christ. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. So Christ has to rise and everybody else has to come down. Christ has to be uh, exalted and every other and, and every man has to be abased mm. that's what the transfiguration was all about they showed Moses on one side which represent the law Elijah on the other side which represented the prophets mm. and Christ in the middle which represented what the new covenant, the new covenant. and the, the, the voice of the father came up above and said this is my beloved son Hear ye him. And after that was said, Moses and Elijah disappeared. To show you that it's all about Christ. Okay? Yeah. Read on. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said, saith, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. In the provocation, when they provoke God to anger, in the wilderness. Right. right. That's what it means by in the provocation. In the provocation. Uh-huh. Go ahead. In the day of temptation in the wilderness. All right. The, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works 40 years. Okay, that's it on that. Mm -hmm. So let's go back over. Uh, to Romans. Okay. Okay. The eighth chapter where we was at. Romans the eighth. Romans the eighth chapter. And um let's let's let's